Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 4780, the Department of Homeland Security's Strategy for International Programs Act, and yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I introduced H.R. 4780 to require the Secretary of Homeland Security to develop a comprehensive strategy for the Department's international programs where personnel and resources are deployed abroad for vetting and screening persons seeking to enter the U.S. In recent years, the Department has expanded its international footprint through programs such as Immigration Advisory Program and Joint Security Program and the Visa Security Program. In fact, presently, Customs and Border Protection has approximately 800 employees posted in 43 countries, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement has a, almost 400 employees in 45 countries. DHS personnel at overseas locations perform vital vetting and passenger pre-screening activities to ensure individuals traveling to the U.S. do not pose a threat to our nation's security. Looking ahead, DHS has announced plans to expand, expand the pre-clearance program to 10 new locations in the coming years, and ICE continues to expand its visa security program to additional visa issuing posts abroad. I strongly support these efforts to push out our borders through expansion of these important homeland security programs. That said, to do it right, DHS needs a comprehensive strategy to bolster its presence and partnerships around the world. My bill requires just that. Specifically, it requires DHS to have a three-year strategy that includes risk-based goals, a process to ensure resource allocations align with overall departmental strategic priorities, and a common reporting framework for personnel to deploy abroad. My bill requires DHS to not only take into account where it currently deploys resources from those overseas screening and vetting programs and the number of DHS personnel at each location, but also any impacts of these overseas activities on domestic operations, including with respect to staffing at U.S. ports of entry. After 9-11, the attempted Christmas Day attack in 2009, as well as other more recent cases, it is imperative that DHS and its federal partners to bolster the screening and vetting of travelers before they arrive at our borders. My bill will help ensure that DHS has a sound strategy for its efforts to do so. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 4780 and reserve the balance of my time. 